three giant pandas departed the National Zoo in Washington, D.C., on Wednesday and are heading for China. So how, exactly, does one transport a 200-pound panda, let alone three of them? Via FedEx, of course. It's an incredibly complex endeavor, Brandy Smith, director of the National Zoo, told the Washington Post last month. There's zero margin for error. Panda bears in U.S. zoos have been on loan from China as a matter of panda diplomacy, but as those leases are running out and not getting renewed, the bears are leaving. As of this week, only four panda bears remain in the U.S., at Zoo Atlanta, at least until their lease expires next year. The National Zoo's pandas, Mei Shang, Tian Tian, and their cub Xiao Qi Ji, were picked up by FedEx on Wednesday morning, but the transport process started well before then. Brian Amaral, the zoo's senior curator, told the Post last month the pandas would be shipped in three white steel and plexiglass transport containers. A couple of the containers arrived at the zoo weeks before the departure date, so the pandas could get used to them. We get the transport containers in advance of the shipment, and we actually train the pandas to go into them, he said, adding the pandas are given treats when they go inside the containers. So that they're comfortable with the spaces before the day of the shipment. Each panda was also being sent off with its own massive, carry-on, Amaral told the Post. The container was filled with around 300 pounds of bamboo, water, vegetables, and biscuits. On departure day, the pandas were loaded into the large crates with hundreds of pounds and bamboo and some of their favorite toys. The crates were then picked up with forklifts and loaded onto FedEx trucks covered with pictures of pandas. The trucks then carried the pandas to Dulles International Airport in Virginia, where they were loaded onto a specially outfitted FedEx cargo plane, a massive Boeing 777, dubbed the Panda Express. Shortly before 1 p.m. the plane, which features an image of a giant panda, took off for the 19-hour journey to China, where they are heading to the Wolong Panda Reserve outside of Chengdu. The plane was also set to make a refueling stop in Anchorage, Alaska, the Associated Press reported. A FedEx spokesperson said the pandas would have plenty of room to move around, eat, and play on their first-class trip. WTOP News, reported. Captain Ron Zampini, a 777 chief pilot for FedEx, told the outlet it would be his first time flying with pandas, adding, it's the highlight of my career, certainly with FedEx. These bears are special. Certainly don't want anything happening to them on my watch, he said. Our number one objective is to get these lovable bears to Chengdu safe. As for whether or not the panda bears will ever return to the U.S., the National Zoo is hopeful that they will, and has plans to spend $1.7 million updating the panda habitat, which now sits empty.